Welcome to the video. I am that streamer dude and today we're going to be talking about a brand new feature that Streamlabs added to their Streamlabs OBS software called Highlighter. And what Highlighter is, is it's an integrated, I guess, widget. It's something integrated into Streamlabs OBS where you can take your clips or you can take clips of videos and actually make them into a video that you can put up on YouTube or whatever. So it's not just limited to clips that you, uh, record during your stream or anything like that you can actually record say let's plays or whatever youtube videos that you're trying to put out and drag those clips into highlighter and make your youtube videos a matter of fact i'm going to be editing this entire video using this highlighter feature in streamlabs obs so we're going to find out if it works or not. the reason that i'm doing this video is not so much for creating highlights for twitch clips but i feel like there are a lot of people out there doing YouTube videos that are paying a monthly subscription for their editing software to do nothing more than what now is freely available through this highlighter widget on Streamlabs OBS. I'm gonna call it a widget. I don't know what it is. It's integrated into Streamlabs OBS. But I feel like there's a lot of you that are maybe making videos that you can just now use this free feature and save yourself a little bit of money. Now, before we dive into it, I have to mention that I am streaming over on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 9 p.m. to like 2 a.m. Central Standard Time. I would love to see you guys come around and say, hey, if that's something you feel like doing, swing over there and drop me a follow. Now, admittedly, I am doing a couple things in this video. Uh, essentially, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm treating it like a live stream. Uh, things that I am doing, like queuing the overlay that you just saw, is coming from my stream deck. So I'm treating it like a live stream and everything is done live because there are a couple features that are not available obviously through highlighter that they say would be available through adobe premiere they're not trying to sell you a competitor to adobe premiere or some of these other more complex editing softwares but what you are able to do is is piece some things together do transitions and actually have a really high quality video by the time it's all said and done of all that let's go ahead and dive into the brass tacks <laughs> So here we are on streamlabs obs i'm going to go ahead and preface this preface i'm um, preface this with uh, make sure that you're logged in. <laughs> I like, I struggled to find the feature for the longest time uh, because I don't use Streamlabs OBS. I wasn't logged into it and it's not gonna show up unless you're logged in. If you wanna be logged in, make sure you click this cogwheel and log in with it, okay? So once you log in, you're gonna see this thing right over here on the side that looks like, what do you even call these things? The movie slapper, I'm gonna call it the movie slapper. So that is your highlighter tab. So when you click on there, you get the, greeted with the ability to either add clips or there will be clips here for you because this is integrated with what's called the stream replay buffer, I believe. So it may give you the first time you click on this, it may ask you to enable the replay buffer. And essentially what the replay buffer is, let me see if I can find it here real quick. Was that just on general? The replay buffer. You wanna go ahead and uh, enable, uh, automatically start replay buffer when streaming. And then I forget where you actually find the replay buffer on top of that. Oh, it's in a uh, video, it's in stream. It's in this place right here, output. Enable your replay buffer, okay? So once you have that, it'll allow you to use this highlighter function. So if you wanna use the replay buffer, there's a lot of other videos out there about that, but essentially what it does is it allows you to set an amount of time for your stream where if something amazing happens, you can click that button and it will save, say, the last 20 or 30 seconds and just go ahead and create a clip and save it to wherever you said you wanted to save it. And then those will show up in here. You can piece it all together and make yourself a nice looking YouTube video out of it. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm not gonna use any videos from stream or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and piece together little pieces of uh, gameplay that I have from my other YouTube channel and we're gonna see how this all comes out. So what you can do is you can either click here and, and add a clip or you can click and drag clips from another place. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just grab a couple of clips. Let me see, I don't even know what I should put together. So here's a couple of clips from where I played Ark. I'll go ahead and add these in here. And you can also add your intros and outros and that kind of stuff so i'm gonna grab my intro and i'll go ahead and grab an outro and it should throw it all right here so what exactly is highlighter going to give you the ability to do there's a lot of things that are missing and we'll talk about that at the end if you're trying to make complex videos but if you're just trying to throw together some let's plays or a video like this i think that it can work really well 
as long as you're recording in segments that you can piece together because this allows you to put transitions it allows you to do a lot of cool things but again at the end of the video we'll talk about things that are maybe missing that could maybe be added i don't really know I, listen i don't create software but maybe it could be added to make this a little bit more useful for every situation so what you'll notice is normally there pops up a preview right here and i'm not sure why there's not one right now but if you double click here you'll get a preview of your video and so if i click it should start playing the video here in the background so that you can see exactly what it is that you're working with right what you can do with this highlighter is go ahead and trim to certain areas of your clip so for instance if i wanted this to start right here then i could go ahead and stop it i can drag this to here and that's where it'll start if at the very end i need it to stop at a specific point then i can drag it to wherever i need it to stop and then i can go ahead and drag that so we're going to go ahead and just have this trimmed down clip that's got all the extra stuff at the start and the awkward parts at the start and the end and we'll have it trimmed we're down to go that. through to the rest of our clips and we're going to drag and make whatever size we want these clips to be and once we have everything perfect there we'll go to the side here where we can choose our transition type so they have several different ones. I think the one that obviously will be a little less in your face is something like a fade. I like the slides, but you can choose what kind of transition you want. You can even have no transition and then you get to set your transition duration as well. And it's it defaults to one second, which is pretty good. But if you want a super long transition, you can set it that way. If you want a super short transition, you can do that as well. The other thing that you can do that is really helpful uh, whether it be highlight video or just like piecing together a let's play or whatever is adding background music now you do want to make sure that your background music is youtube safe but streamer dude where do i get youtube safe street video music i'll show you i'm glad you asked on over to youtube and click on your channel picture and go down to youtube studio and then on the left hand side here you're gonna see your audio library there's actually a ton of free to use music here that you don't have to worry about copyright strikes or dmca you can filter by sound effects you can do free music you should be able to filter by genre the whole nine yards so you can uh, go in here and find a song that you like and throw it on your on your video just as easy as coming in here and choosing your music file so you would save it from youtube to wherever you want and then come in here browse put it in your music file and then you can set the music volume so I think I usually like music pretty low in the background. And from what I've tested on this, you probably want to set it around 10%. Once you've come in and trimmed all your clips down to the size that you want them, and you set your transition type, duration, put your background music in and set the volume, it's as simple as just hitting export. And it'll start the export process to save it to your computer. Also, if you're wanting to get a preview of what you've got going on here, you can actually render a preview and uh see your video before you export it i'm not gonna mention me here interjecting for a second while i'm putting this video together i should mention um that the order that you drag your clips in this is the order that it's all going to go together i know that seems kind of self-explanatory also dude yeah check out my blue light blocking glasses i'm so embarrassed dude i have eyes straight get off my case dude i think it looks good uh yeah the order that you drag them in that is the order that they're gonna go into your video so one after the next uh, like i said it, it, it should be pretty self-explanatory but i feel like i'll get a comment that's like uh, uh, why are my clips all jumbled yeah you just drag them in the order that you now want. that we're ready to export we'll just click export you can save it to wherever you would like you choose whether you want it to be 1080p what frames per second you want it you can have the file size balanced, a smaller file or a faster export, and then you just hit export. And actually I found that it exports fairly fast. It, it surprised me how quickly it actually exported. Uh, I'm not gonna show the final video of this because there's no point in it because you're watching right now a video that was edited strictly in Streamlabs OBS highlights. Lots of you that want to know, and I do think it is an important thing to mention, it does save it as an MP4 and it seems to be right around i think it uses like twenty-five thousand for your bit rate so it comes out a decent quality honestly that's right at the sweet spot for youtube and the reason that i thought this was a big enough deal to make a video out of is because there are a lot of people out there that are paying upwards of 60 dollars a month for something like adobe premiere to do nothing more than what this software gives you for free putting things together putting some background music on it and exporting it out at the end of your export, it even gives you an option to immediately and directly upload that to YouTube, which I think is really cool too, to have that built in. So it is a money saver if you're paying for, for a software to do this exact same thing. And I think that it can be really beneficial for people that are making 
videos like this one now i i can't do a lot of the crazy stuff that i knew, normally do with these videos right so i can't do zooms in i can't do color correction i can't run this twitch overlay in post processing i just have to do it all from my stream deck but if you record in segments i think that this is something that could do really well for you and i'm curious if any of you guys are paying for a software to do just that so please let me know in the comments below and if you make a video with this definitely reach out to me on twitter or in discord or something like that i want to check it out and i wanted to see like what you guys have done with it. the absolute biggest thing that i think that it's really missing is the ability to go into a clip and then cut segments out of it right so take a splice out and piece the other two together so say you were recording something and you went into a coughing fit just to be able to go at the start of that coughing fit the end of that coughing fit and then piece those pieces together if it had something like that I, I could even more highly recommend this for somebody who was doing YouTube videos like this. For instance, when I'm talking, I tend to get ahead of myself and I mess up a lot. And so I might be on take 463,294. It would be really nice if I didn't have to just do a whole nother take of it and I could just splice it all together. So maybe that's something that they can add. I don't make software. I don't know exactly how that would be done. But if that's something that could be added, I think it would make this software even just above and beyond and uh, it would give even more people a reason to to drop that monthly payment on their editing software and i know they're not all monthly payments you can buy some outright and things like that but even just a 40 dollars software because there's some of them floating around out there i've used them when i first started creating content they're not that great but there are some cheap editing softwares out there right even that is cost restrict <laughs> cost restrictive See, I could have cut that out, dude. Even that is cost restrictive for a lot of people. So the ability to put this together for free, right in a software that you already have downloaded on your computer that you're already using, is pretty nice. To me again here, I'm editing the video and something else that I came across that I think would be really nice that might be an easy tweak is being able to choose between which clips you want transitions or if you want different transitions between different clips the ability to do so so that not all of these as you're noticing through the video are just slide transitions there'd be somewhere i could have no transition at all and it would just be a cut the ability to do that would be really nice too anyways that is my rundown on streamlabs obs highlighter feature brand new let me know what you guys think of it I'm going to do some videos real soon on alerts and I really want to dive into alerts. I want to go uh, the Streamlabs edition. I want to go the Stream Elements edition. And if there's anything else you guys can think of that you want me to do a video of, just leave it in the comments below. Leave me a thumbs up on this video because it helps immensely. And drop me a sub if you're interested in learning about all things content creation, That things that I have learned over my five year content creation career thus far. Uh, being on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. Central Standard Time, usually later on Fridays. Would love to see you guys there. Till next time. See you later, dudes.